Hello, and welcome to a Centipede Press Unboxing, several months in the making, because this, my friends, is Burn Witch Burn. Oh, we've got, what do we got on the inside of the packing list? It's probably just a scan, but I like to check them out. Even though I just cut it in half, we're going to check it out. Uh, Jared from Centipede Press was talking about how he uh, he deals with scans most of his morning. Not necessarily anything to do with what he's publishing. Dime Mystery Magazine. We got a page from Dime Mystery Magazine as the back of our shipping list. Shipping label. Oh well. Anyways, this is Burn Witch Burn by A. Merritt. I was too slow to get the signed edition. I got an unsigned edition. And I think we have a dust jacket here. Is this, let's go play with the Adams. Oh, we've got several dust jackets. Sometimes Jared includes other things as packing material, and that looks to be the case here, and I am all for it. We've got Volume 1 Dust Jacket for Jeffrey Thomas's uh, Punk Town. I unboxed this trilogy on the channel. You can check it out. Very cool. We have, oh, we have Babel. Babel. I don't know why I keep saying Babel. Babel 17 and Empire Star, the Samuel Delaney. Uh, two novellas, two short novels, printed back-to-back, uh, -back, like an ace double. It was incredible. One of their best publications. I unboxed that on the channel. And let's go play at the Atoms, which I very recently unboxed on the channel, which is with Dan Rempel's artwork. Wouldn't you know, Dan Rempel also did the artwork for Burn Witch Burn. So as I had said, I purchased an unsigned copy of... Uh, the unsigned copies, the signed copies sold out immediately. The unsigned copies also pretty much sold out the same day. But there was an issue where the sign, the unsigned copies just kind of got lost in the mail. Like, I don't know if the pallet wound up somewhere or they got damaged in transit. I don't really know. But uh, Jared had to go back and reprint copies. Uh, so when he was reprinting them, he decided he was going to change them from unsigned, unnumbered copies to uh, the both facsimile signatures, but new numbered copies. So this is an, an unsigned gift edition, copy 328. I think it goes up to like 600 now. There were what, like 250, 250 copies of the actual signed copies, which I believed which I believed were signed by James Malazuski, Dan Rempel, and Virgil Finley. Um, however, this being the unsigned copy, it just has a facsimile signature from A. Merritt and Virgil Finley. I am fine with it. I wasn't expecting any signature page at all. So I'll take it. Uh, copies of this, the gift edition with the, the facsimile signatures, are still available. This was originally sold for like a hundred bucks. The uh, unsigned the gift edition here, $50. That's 50% off. Go buy a copy. It's still, it's still in stock. That's crazy. Uh, we have Dan Rempel's artwork. Very, very nice. Very small trim size. Uh, we have an inlaid cover. There we go. Fantastic Mysteries. Was that how it was originally published? I don't think so. Two-tone stamping on the spine by A. Merritt. I am all for it. More Dan Rempel frontispiece there. I know we have some interior illustrations of Virgil Finley, such as that. Introduction by James Malzuski. Burn which burn. It must have been in like a weekly publishing. Yeah. Argosy. 1932, covered by Richard Grafe. Okay, it must have been serialized at first. Very cool. I didn't realize that, that it was serialized. So Burn Witch Burn uh, is a supernatural horror. We're not going to cover that. We're going to cover that up a little bit there. Protect your eyes. Uh, supernatural horror kind of mystery. A doctor who uh, deals with Bizarre psychology, abnormal psychology is brought in by a mobster. It sounds like a mobster because one of the mobster's friends is suddenly catatonic. And uh, he wants the doctor to find out who or what is causing this state. And this doctor, who doesn't believe in superstition, is suddenly dragged into the world of the supernatural uh, he stumbles upon a woman, an elderly woman, who makes these life, these tiny lifelike dolls. Uh, who he finds other cases of people who have gone cat in this catatonic state, 
And they've all, what they have in common is they've all purchased these lifelike dolls from this mysterious old woman. And I know the novel is praised by many. H.P. Lovecraft gave his praise to it. Uh, Carol, oh my God, Carol Ed Wagner gave his praise to it, which is high praise indeed. Lots of high praise. Oh, I guess Virgil Finley, it would have been a facsimile either way, because it says the estate of Virgil Finley. So I guess the numbered editions would have had the two facsimiles, and then it had actual signatures, presumably by James and Malinowski and Dan Rempel. But, yeah. Uh, so this, like I said, has been several months in the making, because the signed edition shipped months ago. The unsigned edition uh, got lost, the palette of it, so he went back and published more. And he did say that future... Uh, a Merit titles will have the larger uh, print run for the signed edition, which is awesome. So now I can get a matching number 328 uh, with actual signatures, although no signature from A Merit for obvious reasons, uh, for future titles. So yeah, loving the print size for this. Very small, nice go nice production quality from Cemetery... No, oh my God, from Cent Centipede Press. Very nice black cloth binding, a uh, Berlanta cloth. Got the top edge stain. You can't go wrong with it. And like I said, these gift editions are 50% off currently. This thing sold out. The original copy sold out within like the day they were announced. And now there's another couple hundred of these copies for cheaper than those original copies are for. And they're still available, which is crazy. I think the current copies are like cheap. I think I paid like 60 for this. Uh, which, I mean, at the time it was unsigned. It wasn't had a, the facsimile signature at all. It wasn't unnumbered. But I think I, I I could have bought another copy now for ten bucks cheaper. Like get on this. I mean it's a small book, yeah, but it's it is a high quality book and it's a great introduction to uh, Centipede Press. Anyways, I have a lot of Centipede Press unboxings on the channel. Please consider liking and subscribing and checking those out. Thank you much, very much for watching. Thank you for your patience, Jared. I'm getting this all resolved, but thank you very much for the book and the dust jackets. I love them. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you guys around next time.